Islam in the Gold Coast. In this short video, I'm going to be looking at an area in, in West Africa that was historically known as the Gold Coast, which included areas such as Mali and Najar. Islam reached these areas at the hands of the Tawarik who used to trade with them. For further details on the Tawarik, please watch my other video, Who are the Tawarik? The Tawarik used to travel across the Sahara Desert, which is the largest desert in the world, where they traded salt in exchange for gold. The Empire of Mali was founded by Sundiata, who was a very successful leader at the time. They built many successful cities, such as Timbuktu, which was very famous at the time for trading and for education. They also developed the architecture, such as building the Jenne Mosque in Timbuktu, as well as the Sankore Mosque, also in Timbuktu. One of the most famous leaders from the Kingdom of Mali was Mansa Musa, who was also the richest person in the world during the time of the Gold Coast. To give you an idea of how rich he was, the richest person in the world for many years is Bill Gates. He has an estimated $70 billion. Mansa Musa, however, had an estimated $400 billion, more than four times the amount that Bill Gates had. In a very famous incident in the 14th century, Mansa Musa went for the Hajj or pilgrimage to Mecca and he passed through various countries. He gave gold as gifts to the people and he gave away so much gold that in Egypt the value of gold dropped. A similar incident occurred with another leader, Askia the Great, although not at the same scale as Mansa Musa. There was another successful Muslim empire in the Gold Coast after that, which was the Songhai Empire founded by Sunni Ali. Another successful leader was Abu Bakr II, who left his leadership to go and explore the sea, and it's thought that he had been to the Americas about 180 years before Christopher Columbus. After Christopher Columbus had been to the Americas, many slaves had been taken from West Africa, including many Muslims. They were used for all sorts of labor tasks. Later during the colonial period, the French colonized the areas of West Africa, including areas such as Mali, and they drew the current borders for the countries. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.